Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today is the 23rd of uh, June uh, 2011 and uh, happy trading to you all. The time in London right now is 12.30 uh, uh, p.m. 12.30 p.m. Uh, London time, uh, Eastern time, uh, that's 7.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. Uh, trying to put together some of the video uh, for the TSTW24 uh, traders, okay? Uh, for those of you who are new to us, uh, we are the TSTW24 uh, uh, traders and our website is www.stochastic-magd.com uh, To find us on YouTube is www.youtube.com forward slash uh, George Trio, George Trio, okay? You can perfectly subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, so that you can uh, receive all uh, our video in order to uh, improve uh, your trading, okay? Uh, this video is for educational purposes only, is neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. As always, 5% uh, money, money, money management rules uh, must be adhered to, and also uh, a stop loss, okay, uh, in all trade. All right, okay. Now, the title of this video is uh, a Tactical a Bullish a Trader. Tactical Bullish a Trader. Now, we want to focus on a bullish trader, somebody, okay, who likes to buy all the time, okay. We know there are some traders, uh, they have difficulties to, to sell. And um, whenever the market is going down, these traders uh, will give back all the money that they have made before and uh, they lose a lot of money because uh, they like to buy, okay? Now, most of uh, uh, the retail American traders like to buy, okay? And we notice that because we take advantage of that psychology of the American traders that like to buy, and that's why when New York is open and uh, we receive a, a clear cut buy signal, uh, we are happy to take it, okay? If you disagree with me regarding the uh, what I'm saying right now uh, about uh, our uh, retail American traders. I will show you something on the weekly chart uh, this week. Okay, very interesting. Um, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, which day was some of the day was very interesting. And uh, I'll go to the 10 minute chart. Okay, you can see uh, the pattern and we take advantage of that because when New York is about to open and uh, we are uh, selling. Uh, myself, if I'm day trading, I take my profit if I'm selling before a New York opens because there's the psychology of that particular market. Now, and also, uh, I know the psychology of the Asia market, uh, the Australian market. You have to understand what's, what's going on, okay? We're going to look to some of the day before we continue our video about the, the tactical uh, uh, bullish trader. I hope uh, you'll find that very interesting because some traders like to buy and they have difficulties to sell. Myself, when I start trading first, uh, my first tendency is to sell. I was always happy to sell. Why? Because I'm looking for what I call market imperfection, market exaggeration, market exhaustion. These were an easy trade for me because when I see that people uh, push it a bit too far, I'm watching, okay? When I knew that no, it's not going to go far. I want to sell, okay? That was my uh, first tendency. I was always looking for opportunity to sell. So I come in, I'm looking for stock that are overbought, okay? In the proper sense of the world, and I'll take advantage of it and sell. Because the price is going down very fast. And uh, because I don't like to remain too long on in the trade, I want to be paid quickly. I'm in the trade, I'm sitting down, I get paid, and I'm out, okay? That's the way I like it. So, I know some traders also, they like to buy, so they are looking constantly to buy, okay? Uh, now, I'm trying to see some uh, example to justify uh, what I've just said about the American retail market. The professional traders, whether they're American, English, British, they sell. The professionals sell more than they buy because they know that the retail market, okay, they are always, always, always uh, buying. Okay, the retail traders are always looking to buy. Most retail traders, most new traders, majority of new traders, or traders that are, I mean, uh, are trading for a year or two, they tend to buy very often. So uh, they are constantly looking for a buy signal. Okay, <laughs> and, and they get into trouble if the market is going down. 
So when they make money, when the market is going down, they are happy, and when the market is going down, they lose and they give back everything. What's happening here is that you see on on the at the twentieth of uh, uh, on the twentieth of uh, uh, June two thousand eleven, you see uh, this is the euro USD. The market was pushing the euro down. There was a valid reason to sell the euro, and the euro was going down. Right here, in New York, uh, just you will see. Uh, just an hour before New York is so open, if you were selling, you had to come out, come out, okay? And I mean, the traders are doing it professionally. And New York will come and push the price up. So price was going down, New York open, they push it up, okay? But that's how New York retail traders trade. It's not that uh, anything wrong with it, but we know that and we take advantage of that also, okay? So you also know it now. And you can play that game also, okay? Now, London, London, London traders, they like to sell and buy, okay? They like to sell and buy. It's very balanced because why? Because during the opening time of London, is uh, the professional that are trading, okay? You will see American professional are in the market when London open. I know that. Uh, the, the Asia market, which is about to close, when London is about to open, they are also in the market. And you see a bit of a sell and buy perfectly all... Uh, in order, okay, which uh, I prefer myself, okay. It happened to me uh, uh, beginning uh, when I, I was new trader. I was not trading the, the, the American session, so I would trade in London session because I'm always obsessed with selling, and I was selling. So as soon as I see that New York is about to open, I just take a day off. That's what I was doing. So New York is about to open, I go away because uh, I, I don't like to buy. I was all about uh, uh, selling, okay. So you can see again on the 21st, price was going down during the Asia, uh, the London session. Asia session went down, okay. Uh, London session, they push it up a bit, but they bring it down in the London session. And New York did open around here, uh, just an hour before, you have to pay attention, just an hour before New York is about to open, okay. If you are selling, come out, okay, come out and wait for the market to open, okay. Or two hours before uh, New York is about to open, close all your trade and wait for New York to open and restart afresh, especially on Mondays. Remember, Mondays, uh, we do not usually have a trend on Monday. The market will go up and go down on Monday. Very important. Another difficult day for new traders is Wednesday and Friday. If you are a new trader, uh, pay attention to what I'm saying here. Very important. So, so price went down, New York opened, they push it up again. So this is the psychology of uh, uh, the market uh, New York, okay? We go back to tactical uh, bullish trader. A tactical bullish trader is somebody who is uh, happy to, to buy, okay? He likes to buy, but he's uh, a tactical trader, and uh, he understands the language of the price, and uh, he usually gets his uh, entry right. And I want to show you what the tactical trader is doing. The tactical trader will pay attention to the market pattern, trend, post trend. So he's looking carefully, which market do we have here? If a tactical trader see an uptrend, he's happy. A tactical bullish trader see an uptrend, he's happy. So he will draw, he or she will draw uh, his, uh, the trend line, okay? So he locate two points where the price turn around first time, second time price turn around. We are on a monthly chart of uh, Apple stock, okay? This is a tactical bullish trader, bullish trader on a swing trader, okay? So price pull back. Okay, tactical trader is waiting for a turnaround. One candle on a monthly chart, followed by another green one. The bullish, uh, the bullish uh, uh, tactical trader is happy to enter. So how do you trade as a tactical bullish trader? You want to see an uptrend. You, one thing you need to pay attention to, if you are buying, you don't want to buy in the overbought zone. Even though the trend is still up, if the price reaches the overbought zone, you don't want to buy. You leave it for other traders. Usually the price will give you two types uh, of entry during the uptrend. And then it will pull back uh, sharply or it may go into consolidation or the price may reverse. That's what we see very often. In most of the time frame, thinking of the earlier wave theory, first wave, second wave, fourth wave, fifth wave, end of earlier wave. Usually the price will give you two excellent opportunities uh, to enter the uptrend. The first one, is the pullback of the second earlier wave, okay, and uh, which is the best one, okay, 
And uh, the second uh, entry point in the uptrend is the pullback of the fourth Elliott wave. Do not forget that. So when you are trading, and suppose you, especially those who are trading the New York session, because London is open, traders, the future traders are in the market, they are doing what they are doing in the future markets, because the future market people are trading um, before New York open. And you come in New York open, which is money time, is for some country, or whichever market you are trading, the market opens, don't be the last bias. Don't be the last bias because the, the price was going up before. If the price already gave two types, two excellent, gorgeous, okay, a buy uh, entry point, if you are day trader, pay attention to the at least the hourly chart. If you see two gorgeous, okay, entry point, you know that uh, probably the day is gone. Another thing you can pay attention to is the range. How much the financial instrument average moves per day. The professional, they know, they know how much apples can move in one day. So when they see the, the average rent of each day being uh, uh, at 10, they are not interested. Okay? But if they know that it's only 10% uh, of the day we have so far, and then they receive a buy signal in the uptrend, they want to buy. So a tactical bullish uh, trader will know the average true range of the financial instrument that he or she is trading. So we know, especially for those of us who are trading currency, this, the currency, they move fast. 200 point is normal. 300 point is normal for, 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 for currency. I see some of the stock, uh, they move uh, 26 uh, p per day, uh, 30 p per day. For, for us, uh, that will be uh, something completely very, very quiet market. Okay? So tactical trader will pay attention to the average, uh, average true range of the financial instrument. So you pay attention to the market pattern, okay? So you see there was a consolidation here on the monthly chart and the pullback to retest, okay, the top of the consolidation. That's the first entry point. Price must turn around or valid bullish signal must receive. So price going up, a tactical trader does not buy when the price is going up. That is, if he or she want to buy because the price is running fast, he or she must switch time frame. So you are the monthly chart. I think you see it's going very fast. You can't enter on a monthly chart. You need to look for another time frame. I do not want to talk about it because this is uh, a top-down trading system, a multiple time frame a trading system, and I don't want to talk too much about it. Okay, it's uh, our trading, some of our trading tool. Okay, I don't want to say how you do it on a monthly chart. Okay, so. You have to change time frame. You have to know how to enter it to participate a fast bullish a financial instrument. So a tactical trader see the price running fast like this. If he or she want to enter, he has to make sure that he is in the right market pattern. Market is trending up. We are not in the overbought zone. How do you know the overbought zone? You use the Fibonacci extension in a zone of a two three eight percent and a two six one percent. Going even to 300% Fibonacci extension zone, these are overbought zone. I will tell you another overbought zone that you will pay attention to. When you see the general market, S&P 500, or market leaders like Apple or Google displaying a bearish Gatley pattern, a bearish bat pattern, a bearish crab pattern, a bearish butterfly pattern, do not buy anything. When a market leader is overbought, do not look for opportunity to buy any financial instrument. When the market itself is overbought, do not look for any financial instrument to buy. The market can be going out, people can be dancing, like people were dancing on the Titanic. Do not be the last buyer. You see here? We are in the overbought zone for Apple stock. These, these are the late buyers. The market gave the first opportunity to buy here and gave the second opportunity here, not on the family chart, but on the monthly chart. You see, these are the late buyers. You don't want to be a late buyer. The market can perfectly go up, but you want it to break the, 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 the overbought zone, which means going above the overbought zone and starting a new movement to the upside. That's how you will handle the overbought zone if you are desperate to buy. Wait for the price to go above, below, uh, to go above, okay, to go back above. Uh, the overbought level and uh, to give you a clear cut value signal to buy before you continue. So when you see the price giving you two two excellent 
too excellent entry point in the uptrend, you know that it's coming to the end. So as a day trader, you look on the daily chart, or not on the daily chart, you look on the um, hourly chart at least and see whether you receive already two excellent entry points, okay? Or uh, you pay attention to the average uh, true range of the financial instrument. So average true range, very important, how much the financial instrument moves per day. If 200 pips already, chances that it's not going to go far for the rest of the day. Either you go into consolidation because the professional are not going to buy after that. They wait for a pullback. So, very important, know the true range, how much the, the financial is removed per day. Sometimes they even take advantage of it because if they know the average average true range, suppose a, a, a financial is removed like a 400 pips per day. Once the 400 pips per day is achieved, those who are using the algorithm computers, computerized uh, uh, trading system, uh, the computer will just sell. They will just sell at the end of the average to rent. So if you want to take advantage of some of the crazy uh, trading uh, software controlling this market, you can perfectly just trade with the average to rent and watch it. And uh, wait for clear cut sell signal given by the TST WSY08 or the TST WSY08 or TST W24. Attention on the average to range of the financial instrument that you are trading. The next thing, paying attention to the market pattern. The third thing, talking about the bullish, a uh, tactical bullish trader. Two excellent entry points the price will usually give you. The first one, paying attention to the pullback after the first area wave. Second pullback after the fourth area wave, very important, okay? Knowing the language of the price. This is the third thing that the tactical a bullish trader will pay attention to the language of the price. Very important, especially for if you are a new trader. In the uptrend, the price will display higher lows and higher highs until the price reaches the overbought zone or until the price fell to display a new higher high. Price went up, pull back, display a higher lows. We want to know whether we are in a resistance zone or we are in an overbought zone. If we are not in overbought zone, we are not in a resistance zone, the fundamentals are back in the technical. We want to be biased. Price turn around, we buy. Press went up. That's the opportunity. Second opportunity, price return back down. We want. We don't want to chase it. If you want to chase it, you want to switch to another lower time frame, a lower time frame, multiple time frame trading strategy to enter the trade. We are the monthly chart. Pull back again on the monthly chart. Watch it. It turn around. It turn around. If you are entering on the monthly chart, it will be too late. It run fast. Switch time frame, multiple time frame trading. Second attempt, price went up. Two gorgeous entry points has been given so far. So in the uptrend, higher lows, higher lows, higher highs. Okay? High, higher high, higher high. Price reaches the overbought zone, we don't want to buy. Market leaders reach the overbought zone, we don't want to buy. Market itself, S&P 500, major indices displaying bearish pattern. In the overbought zone, we don't want to buy. We stop buying. We stop buying. The season for buying is finished. Tactical trader will pay attention. Tactical bullish trader will pay attention to the average true range of the financial instrument. If it's day trading, you pay attention to the average true range on a daily uh, chart. If it's uh, a swing trading, you pay attention to the average true range on the weekly chart or on a monthly chart uh, to control, okay, the entry and the exit point. Tactical bullish trader will pay attention to the overbought zone using the Fibonacci extension in the zone of 238, 261, and 300% overbought zone, and also using what we call the channel projection. See, the range of the consolidation, projection, projection of the channel to locate the key levels, okay? A tactical, okay, bullish trader will know all the critical price levels, especially the smart media line or the financial instrument that he or she is trading. A tactical, trade, uh, tactical bullish trader understands the, uh, the area wave theory. The best place to learn about the area wave theory is www.24aliotwave.com. And to know about the Fibonacci extension, uh, Fibonacci projection, www.dayprotraders.com. Okay? So tactical traders understand uh, the Fibonacci projection, Fibonacci investment, the overbought zone using the Fibonacci 238, 261%, 300% zone. Area wave theory, the fifth area wave market considered as overbought, 
accepted as overboard, clear cut signal given, tactical trader know exactly what to do. The tactical uh, bullish trader is constantly cashing the third area wave. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are trading and you do not know how to recognize the third area wave, I invite you to go to www.248yearwave.com, spend your whole month just to learn that pattern, the third area wave. Trend, post trend, consolidation, breakout, retest, turn around. The third area wave, that's where the money is made. 